Hey everybody, it's v Man, and welcome to downtown Chicago. We're near the lakeshore, pretty close to Millennium Park, and we're going to be doing some uh, street photography, some urban photography, and uh, yeah, just uh, going to walk around and enjoy this uh, first real nice warm day of spring, 80 degrees. There should be a lot of people out here. And yeah, we're just going to see what we can get. So I'm using the Ricoh GR3X, like I mentioned, which is the 40 millimeter fixed lens camera. And uh, one special feature on this camera is it has a snap focus mode. Uh, so I'm going to keep it locked in at 3.5 meters and snap focus. I got that tied to the function button. So what that means is I can be walking around doing some nice photography of uh, you know buildings or slow moving subjects. And then if I want to kind of switch back to what I'm showing here, which is a more of a classical street photography or zone focusing, I hit the function button and right away I'm right at this uh, 3.5 meter snap focus distance. Um, so pretty much everything from 3.5 meters, maybe a little bit closer, and further on should be in focus. But I wasn't too sure when I first went out. Um, but what I did is I set the f-stop at like f8, sometimes f9, even f11, just to guarantee that I would have that really good deep focus. So I, you know, I won't get a lot of bokeh or, you know, background separation. Sometimes we get a little bit, but the main key here is I want as much as possible in focus without having to rely on autofocus. So you can see now I'm leaving the uh, bean area, which is a big tourist area. And I saw these uh, folks here taking pictures of each other, so I just kind of got in and took some photos. And I am just kind of blown away with the uh, razor sharp focus of most of these shots. Honestly, over the whole day, I think I took like maybe a thousand, eleven hundred photos. But I was doing a lot of street photography of people, I was also doing landscape, building photography. At one point I ended up at a skate park and was just like blasting off lots of images, not really even knowing what to expect. Um, but today, you know, this video here, I'm just focusing on the uh, subject-based photos. So basically candid photos of people walking the streets or doing their regular activities. So that was a fun walk through where I saw some food trucks. Food trucks are starting to get out now, that, now that it's springtime. And then here I'm walking near the Art Institute. Um, and yeah, I was really blown away by these pictures here. Um, I like that even when I zoom into those pictures, I'll still end up getting a lot of detail. Now here I am out front of the Art Institute. This is a pretty iconic spot. I stood here for a while. I still got that snap focus or zone focus set up. And I was just kind of snapping a lot of pictures away there. That was one of the better ones. And then as I was walking, I saw the uh, people setting up here to do some uh, street music. Hey, brother, and then this guy over to my left said, hey, take my picture. And uh, yeah, I was in for a surprise there. I was getting mooned at the same time, so <laughs> he had a good time. So then I kind of uh, continued on, continued on walking. And uh, yeah, there was just a lot of uh, rapid fire shots I was doing. And again, it's crazy. Like out of probably 1,100 shots, maybe five to ten were like out of focus or just totally missed the focus. Like I'm just blown away at how how great this zone focus is. I mean, it is pretty much 3.5 meters on hyperfocal, getting everything. Oh, this guy was great. So here comes the Cubs fan, and now we're gonna see. Uh, He's going to be followed up by a Sox fan up here. I like your jacket. Can I take a picture? It's an awesome jacket. Sweet. Thanks. Yeah, I love that jacket. It, I don't know. It's really colorful. I don't know if you can really tell from the picture. A little windy out here. So here I wanted to get a candid shot of the guy, but I kind of 
was also taking pictures of the statue, so he barely even noticed that I was there. A lot of the photos I've shown, you know, what's amazing about this is I know the focus is pretty much going to be spot on, or at least that's what I was hoping, and it worked out. So here, you know, I'm kind of holding the camera in front of me, snapping pictures, but pretty much keeping it level and in the general direction, I can just fire off shots in any direction, like earlier with the couple taking each other's photo. I like that shot there. Um, I just was caught by the uh, colors of the outfit. And, um, yeah, getting a lot of just rapid-fire shots. So, again, this is like just walking around, see something coming, don't have a lot of time to react, whip out the camera, whip it up, take a picture, put it back down. And I didn't know if I would get anything good out of this, but I ended up getting a ton of great keepers. Just a fun day out on the uh, streets of Chicago here. As you can see there from those shots, like some people like having their picture taken. Uh, this guy was kind of posing and giving me the hand signs as he was going by, so that was pretty cool. So later on in the day, I walked over by this monument. And in another video, I'll show a lot more cool pictures from this area. Just right now, I'm again just kind of focusing on the uh, street photography aspect of, you know, candid photos of people. So. People just barely notice the camera, or maybe just because they're so used to tourists and stuff being around in this area. Nobody even notices you whipping out a camera and taking a picture for the most part. You know, one of the things I heard about the uh, Ricoh GR3 versus the GR3X is that, you know, going to the 40 millimeter snap focus or excuse me, the 40 millimeter lens versus the uh, one in the GR3 is that snap focus is more challenging. So again, that's why I just bumped up the f-stop to f8, just because I'm not still exactly sure how to gauge exactly where that 3.5 meter mark is, and I want to get everything in focused. So again, I thought, you know, maybe I would get home and maybe only a few shots would be in focus, or maybe I was going to be way off on all these, but the strategy played off. Set that f-stop at f8 if you got nice sunlight outside. I put the uh, minimum minimum shutter speed down to uh, 1 250th. Sometimes I adjusted it, but basically 1 250th. And uh, yeah, just got tons of great shots. I mean, it was also beautiful weather, so it was not like the most challenging environment. But as you can see here, like when I'm walking in and out of these buildings, you know, I was walking into shadow areas and then bright areas. And this camera just kept up with all of it as a champ. In another video, I'll show more video or I'll show more pictures from down in this alley. But I really liked uh, the juxtaposition of this guy walking by with the tattoos and the colorful shirt. And same with this one with the uh, graffiti in the background. So when I was not photographing people, I had a lot of fun, like here photographing pigeons, uh, street graffiti, artwork. Anyways. At this point, I was starting to run out of uh, batteries in my GoPro, so now I'm just going to kind of show some of what were my favorite shots from the day. Or just, you know, random uh, people photos. Again, just kind of sharing and highlighting the amazing capabilities of this uh, camera. Also, as far as camera settings, you know, I guess I should say I kept it mostly at the um, area autofocus or, you know, the weighted focus. Both kind of worked out well, switched back and forth, just kind of playing to see what would work out. But anyways, thank you everybody, and I hope to see you next time. Click like and subscribe, and check back in another week, I'll have some more videos.